during my Olympic career, I was one of those people who relished competition. I thrived under the pressure. I can still remember walking into the Georgia Dome the summer of 1996, 40,000 screaming fans, American flags just covering the Georgia Dome. Flashbulbs going off like the 4th of July, and we walked in, the Magnificent Seven, as we would come to be known, and we just thought, this is our night. We are not leaving this arena without that gold medal. It is ours. <laughs> and by the end of the competition, there we stood, top that podium. First ever women's gymnastics team to win Olympic gold for the United States of America. <laughs> But losing your hair is tough. It is, and I thought I was kind of prepared. I didn't like my, you saw my hair in the video. Come on. <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't all that great to begin with. So I wasn't real heartbroken. But it's tough. It, it, it is like losing your identity. You know, when you look in the mirror and you don't have any hair or, or eyebrows or eyelashes and your skin's pain, it's tough. And uh, my doctor was very good. He was very upfront with me. Yes, you're going to lose your hair. It's going to happen in the first two weeks. Day 13, I walk into his office. I hadn't lost a strand of hair on my head. And I said, I'm one of the lucky ones. I'm not going to lose my hair. And he just kind of smiled. Because of my cancer, I've had the privilege of helping others in a, in a way that I never imagined possible. Like many of you, I have come here this week with purpose on my mind, hope in my heart. By sharing our experiences and joining our voices, we are shining a light on the power of survivorship. We are helping create even more awareness and education. We are leading the charge for more funding and more resources devoted to finding not just another test or another screening or better quality of life, but we're here to find a cure. If you're like most Americans, you take really great care of your car. But the important question, and the one we're asking here tonight, is how well do you take care of your health? We spend a lot of time and money making sure that our cars look and run great for as long as possible. It's an investment, a big one. We call it uh, preventative maintenance so that we don't break down on the highway or blow a tire when we least expect it. Shouldn't we be thinking about our health in exactly the same way? And I hope by um, being very public about my issue, others will see that it doesn't matter who you are, um, where you're from, if you have time for it, or even how many gold medals you have. Health is health. So today, I challenge each of you to think of one specific way that you can take control of your personal health. Make that doctor's appointment. Get an extra hour of sleep tonight. Pull those clothes off the treadmill where they've been hanging, get walking. You know what I'm talking about. 